This speech is an exploration of Dizzy Gillis Pie. Have you ever wondered? Uh, have you ever wondered how Dizzy Gillis Pie influenced Steam? Well, I will tell you about his life, his achievements, and awards. Also, how he influenced Steam. Steam means science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. To begin with, John Burke Gillis Pie was born in Chira, South Carolina. October 21st, 1917. The problem he had problem he had was that his dad was abusive and strict. How he overcame this his, this problem is that he ran away his dad he, he ran away when he was only about 10 years old and later he joined music. He died on January 6, 1993. He was 75 years old. The reason he died is from pancreatic cancer. An achievement he had was he was known for the best, greatest jazz player. He was even known by people who don't listen to jazz. Some of his awards, some of his awards were Grammy Lifetime Achievement, the Quentin Jazz at Mazzy Hall, live at Royal Festival Hall. He had many awards in the 90s, and most of, uh, most of them were late 90s. Not to mention there were only two awards that were, that were not in the 90s. There was one in, the, one in 1976 and one in 1989. Not to mention he had two awards after he died. One was in 1995 and, one was, and the other was in 1998. Also, how he influenced Steam by working Charlie Parker, helped create beep bop jazz, and he was most known for the trumpet. He was also created. He also created modern Cuban jazz. He's known as one of the greatest trumpeters. In 1937, he became a member of Teddy Hill's orchestra. In spot. F formerly filled by Eldridge, he influenced Roy Eldridge. Roy Eldridge is one of the great creative musicians of the 1930s. In conclusion, you you finally know how Dizzy Gillis Pie influenced him and his achievements, his awards, and about his life.